Well, a Boise City Council member is working to update the city's ordinances to protect animals. He says the code is outdated and needs to be strengthened. Six on your sides, Anna Silver found out what he plans to propose this year. Anna? Well, the Boise City Council member TJ Thompson says the ordinance to protect animals needs work and the Idaho Humane Society agrees, saying they've had to fall back on Idaho state code rather than city ordinances. TJ Thompson, a Boise City Council member, is on a mission, a mission to protect animals he says are put at risk by outdated city ordinances. You may have seen recently that Idaho is the highest number of dog ownership in the entire country. Uh, here in the Ada County, they actually have to ship dogs in from other states just to meet the, the demand. So we love our animals here. Thompson says he wants to work with the Idaho Humane Society to update the city ordinance to protect animals. The ordinance itself covers a wide range of topics uh, from things like dogs uh, off leash uh, to animal cruelty concerns to the keeping of wildlife and exotic pets. So there are many, many, many topics within that code. They involve a lot of different interest groups um, they all involved the Idaho Humane Society and it doesn't stop with your pets at home. Thompson says the change in code he wants to see would apply to any animals who are in city limits. That would include traveling entertainment like circuses who want to come to town and fill arenas. Let's bring the circus here. I, I would love to have the circus here, but let's leave the elephants in the wild. The Elcora Shrine facilitates a circus that comes in from out of state. They would be affected by this change in code. A representative tells us Elcora Shriners are committed to abiding by all federal, state, and local laws and ordinances. Rewrite our code and ensure that we're doing things like um, helping animals, could maybe uh, a hot car um, component, whether it, it will be making sure that we have no puppy mills within the city uh, limits. Um, and animal abuse fines, you know, we still need to look at whether as a city we can increase those fines, but it's certainly something I want to look at. Well, Thompson says he would like to see some progress for an updated ordinance within the next couple months. Live in studio, Anna Silver, six on your side.